YouTube, welcome back to Point to Recrafty. I'm Lenny, if you haven't met me yet. And today I'm gonna bring you how to make this project right here. Don't forget to like the video, this really helped my channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is your first time around and you like crafting videos, uh, you can subscribe, ring the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, without any more delays, let's get started. So we're going to use this scarf, we're going to be using the pumpkins, I'm going to be using two of these colors. We are going to be using a scarf, I ended up getting a plaid one, or you can use any fabric, leftovers, or anything like that. And we might use some macrame cord, so let's see, or macrame twine, or cotton twine. Alright, so let's get to it first we're gonna start spray painting one white one copper this one i'm gonna leave it alone because it's gonna be covering fabric so really it doesn't need to be nothing needs to be done to it so now i'm gonna take you to my back porch real quick so i can show you how i spray painted them real quick I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove this stem okay so just one word of advice spray painting is not a good choice for foam it actually melts it uh, I realized that after I started I should have known better because this is what I work with all day long it's better off to use an acrylic or some kind of paint to just brush it on and paint it because it will it literally create it holes and it eat away the paint like you can see in this white one you can see the bubbles started to build So we're back and I actually encountered one little detail that I didn't know or more like I didn't think about it is pretty much spray paint on foam is a big no no. <laughs> uh, so this one is the copper one. It does have a little bit of defects. Um, so it created some holes and basically it melts it away um, this one is a white one and this one has a lot more defect than the other one but I'm guessing it's because of the type of paint that it was this was a matte that is more of a metallic so it probably has more of that agent that basically make it no, but we're gonna keep going and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with what I have basically use the pretty side we have our regular pumpkin that we're gonna use this fabric with it I'm gonna use twine I'm gonna do some macrame for the other one so let's get started we're gonna need a hot glue gun so I'm gonna start with this one what I did is I measured out my size of my pumpkin from the center to the top and then double that so after I cut all the pieces I'm gonna attach them to this cord and then I'm gonna do a circle and tie it up Okay, so I did a total of 12 cords, just in case you guys wanted to know. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue right there, so I can hide the strings of our glue and fit this down. So now I'm gonna do another glue dot on this side just to keep it even. Now I'm gonna start right around here. I'm gonna start doing square knots. So 
So we're gonna do the same thing all the way around. Okay, so you're not gonna see this here, but every time I got done with one knot, I put a dot of glue because it was coming undone due to the type of twine that I was using. And it will keep everything in place so it won't shift out on you. Once it is in a perfect spot, just put a drop of hot glue and that's it. All right, I went all the way around. Now we are gonna grab in between the two. So here is one leg, here is the other one. So I'm gonna grab two strings from here. I'm gonna push the other ones from the other side and then two strings from here, probably about an inch and a half. And I'm gonna start my next square knot right here. Okay, so I'm done. We're gonna repeat the same steps on each leg until we go all the way around. So let's fast forward. Okay, so once I got done, I have put all the strands up, gathered them in the middle, and hot glued them. I'm recycling one of those stems left over from my wall of roses backdrop. As you can see, I'm wrapping twine on one of the wires. Now, whatever I got left over, I'm gonna put together and brush. So I'm only gonna brush this much. So for the section that I'm gonna make the stem, I actually measured the amount of twine that I needed and I went just wrap it around and then cut a little bit more than what I estimated I was gonna need. And like I always do, just hot glue in small sections. You can always add more. Hot glue can dry pretty quickly. Just in case you were wondering about the lighter, that is just to burn out some of the loose hairs laying around that can only be done with the type of cord that have like a waxy or a plasticky texture. All right, that is it. Cover it up. And now we're just gonna put it right in. So a little bit of glue right there in the center just to make sure that this doesn't come off. So now you just make this however you want it. All right, so here's the first one all done. We're gonna move on to the next one. And for this one, I'm gonna use this twine. This one, I'm just gonna go around. Again, I'm gonna use my leftover stems from previous projects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure with my rope, how long do I want the strands to be. Okay, so this one I'm doing different. Instead of putting them all together, I tried to brush them, it didn't work. What I'm doing is I'm twisting it until it undo the strand, and then I'm grabbing a few of the strands separately and pull them separate. So. I'm gonna do this to all of them and we'll be right back. All right, so here I am done. I am just putting the hot glue and placing my stamp in the middle. And now I'm just gonna hot glue and wrap it slightly around. I'm not gonna do a tight wrap, barely twisting it. And put a little bit more on the bottom. Now I'm going to cut the axis off from the top. And then you're going to grab, I'm going to do one for this one. I'm not going to do two like the first one. 
And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap around the nautical rope all the way around tightly so you can't see the green. So I think I'm gonna leave it with one. I grabbed like three pieces of the fabric, did a loop right here and pass the legs through it and tighten it. So I got a nice little bow for later. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like the video. So I don't know where I left off, but pretty much what I did is I grabbed the scarf. Here is the scarf. I'm using the fabric this way instead of this way and I started doing it one way that is tying up on the all the strings on the side but I'm not gonna do it that way since it kind of misformed the parts so I'm gonna hot glue the fabric all the way down and then I'm gonna grab the pumpkin and strap it we have enough fabric that we can go from top to bottom if you space it the right way and if anything you might have to give it a little tug I did a fold right here and we're going to have to do the same thing on the bottom and just gather everything on the center. If it becomes too much, just trim the excess so it won't bulge out that much. Actually, I'm going to mention this now. Uh, you're better off like leaving the center on where you're going to put the stem at because it got really really hard for me to try to push it in I end up putting it on instead of inserting it into the pumpkin so just kind of leave that section clear so you don't have that problem So I'm put hot glue right there on that edge and I'm gonna tug here just to seal this section off. What I'm gonna be using are these, the leftover sticks. So I'm just gonna be using one and we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did with the first, with the white one, the same way I did the stem. Grab one little strand and I'm gonna do a quick knot, basically bow. Right there. A little bit word of advice, uh, leave a hole in the middle without any glue or anything because right now I cannot stick this wire through this. So the best I can do is place it where I want it to be. It's not going to be as secure as I like it to be, but there we go. Okay, so I'm going to use this basket that you guys seen in my previous uh, whole video. If you haven't seen that, I have it linked on the top right. going to cover both handles with nautica rope. Okay, on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna wrap it around with this. And, and I'm gonna grab enough cord to this up and start wrapping. Put a little bit of glue here and there as you're wrapping, just to make sure it's secure.
Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna do twine all over around this. The reason why I'm starting here is so I can hide any imperfection. What I'm gonna do is just a braid that is gonna go around instead of just keep wrapping it around and around. I uh, just didn't feel like doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a braid and I use two yards of strain per strand. So we got three strands. Just like I said, I'm just gonna do like a regular hair braid. I did the braid and what I did is I put one layer around the top right here on the edge like you can see and then the second one I did it down here and then I did two tassels one with like you see the nautical rope and then the twine and then I did the one with the twine and the nautical rope being the gathering knot I will link somewhere how to make these tassels I haven't made them in my channel yet but I'm gonna link some some other video somebody else's video that they made some of these tassels um, I actually lost the footage I apologize okay so what I did is I'm gonna use this as a place to put my nail into since right now I don't have a designated spot this will give it the height that I need and then I will place the pumpkins in whichever way I think I want them since this one had this piggy tail and this one had two it's gonna be hard for me to do that and then I just stuff it up with something so I'm gonna give you a quick view of everything set up and ni nice and neatly and that will be it Okay, here is the final product. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you like all kinds of crafting and ring the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Up next, it will be a pretty quick preview on next week's project. And I'm also going to be using one of those scarves. It is somewhere around this mess. I just got done recording a whole video, so I got stuff all over the place. <laughs>